Hey, what's up, YouTube? Project Gram Life coming at you with another quick video. Uh, I searched up uh, videos to see if anybody. I couldn't come across that information that I needed. I've never done this, so I'm learning as I go. But for most of you, you guys might be aware of it. it might be simple, but for someone that just happens to be doing this job and doesn't know, this is the brand new brake line right here on the driver's side. So let me let me go ahead. This is a brake line right here. Zoom that out a little bit for you. Okay. This attaches to your caliper, but what I'm talking about is right here. How to remove this right there. Let me give a little bit more light up, up up here for you guys. Right there. Let's see. This right here, how to remove this, okay? So, if you're doing it for the first time, it's gonna be stuck. It's gonna be almost welded on there, like like mine was. I didn't know. I just started going at it, and I f I discovered that this has a tab right here. This has a tab. I'm gonna show you right here. So this is your brake line right here, the new one, and this tab has a tab. You're gonna pull this out, okay? And when you pull this out, that's gonna allow you. This has a shape to it right here, the, the hose. It's gonna allow you to come through the space right here. And you see this, this pin right here, it's gonna go slide through there and that locks it in place. So once again, you're gonna go through here, through the brake line, and then gonna push this tab. And that's what holds this in place, okay? And then you just tighten this like you normally would tighten. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, go to the right with it. But like I said, if, if the truck has been sprayed or it's been on there for a long time, this right here is gonna look like one piece. You're not even, not even. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty much stuck on there. And if you don't know that this has to come out, this tab for you to pull this hose, bring it down, you're gonna be struggling. So I just want to make that little video. Once again, down here on this tab, notorious for breaking. But it's not a big deal. Um, I'll go ahead, get a little self tapper on there, and this just goes like this right here, like that. Let me see, like that. I'll just self tap onto that, and this is how she's looking over here. The other side, driver's side, got the cotter pin, nut, everything in place. Real bearing. Have that little noise to it. I'm gonna order me some good ones. When I say good ones, something not from your from your red or green auto parts store. Um, I don't know if you guys have any recommendations of some good wheel hubs. I would like to put something real good on here. I know obviously it's wear and tear parts. But not all, all parts are made the same. I do believe that. So not all parts are made the same. Uh, it ended up uh, not having warranty, which sucks. Because they're $250 out the door with taxes at Big O. Uh, Pro, what's the name? I forget the, Pro, Pro Sear something is the name of the wheel hub. It's a wheel hub assembly with the bearing. It does come with the threads. For your for your wheels it does come with that it does, also comes with your wheel sensor speed sensor 250 bucks it didn't to me didn't even last a year I had I went over there to go get it uh, warranted out and my warranty was over so for 250 dollars I rather spend a couple couple hundred more and give me a good part that's gonna last because uh, gonna last me longer than a year because once you do it over and over you get pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at it now that I figured out how to disassemble this and, and I I put anti seize in all the right places it comes off like a charm it's not as hard but still it's not as easy as if this uh, rotor would stay on the axle it is what it is I could probably 30 minutes tops change brake pads, rotor, and everything if, if if I didn't have to disassemble this right here. 
because you got to remember you got to hit all of these right here and then there's four in the back that uh that attach from the axle to this part right here it's it's no big deal like i said if, if you've done it a couple times you, you know what i'm talking about you, you get to know the ins and the outs and you'll be able to do it as always another quick little disclaimer i'm not a professional i'm not certified uh i'm just i'm just putting these videos out there to help anybody else that might be going through the same situation hopefully you guys can save some money but do it at your own risk um that's pretty much it so we got the new ro we got the new rotor uh gonna be doing uh the brake pads brand new and also the calipers i'll show you the caliper real quick what it looks like it's a nice new caliper so we're working with right here let's see nothing special nothing fancy it is from big O. they run you like 50 bucks hopefully it does the job which it should um let's see with your ball and everything bleeder valve I already installed the left, um, the passenger side yesterday. This is going to be the driver's side. So it's just something to keep in mind. And also, just some uh, another little heads up, some advice. If anybody's wanting to, uh, when they remove this, go ahead and, and put some uh, grease up in that, where the speed sensor goes. Just put you some good grease. Grease that wheel bearing, you know. You'll be surprised of how much grease... I don't know, a lot of people have their own own uh, thoughts and opinions on that. Some say to do it, some say not to do it. I say, me, why not? It's a speed bearing, uh, it's a sealed device, but if, if you already have everything disassembled and the, you can take the speed set sensor off with an Allen wrench, go ahead and, and lube it up. Make it go around and lube that, that thing up so it's nice and lubed. So that's what we're, that's what we're working with. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And this is Project Ram Life. I'm out. Have a blessed day.